Our curriculum at CBS is one of a kind in the world. I know because I made it up. So I'm gonna tell you all about our classes, uh, kind of from A to Z. Our core class is an on-camera audition class across six television genres. It covers single cam, multi-cam, procedural drama, serial drama, sci-fi, and hybrid, right? A combination of some of those. It gives you a broad view of the landscape of television. So everything is really a variation of one of those colors. It also introduces our core philosophy and technique, which is rooted in something that we call the core experiences. The core experiences are not emotions per se, they are more physical states of being that every person on the planet shares, so every character shares as well. So it's an incredible way for an actor to both build self-awareness of themselves, look at a synergy with a character, and then also look at genre from a more experiential point of view. What I mean by this is, the core experiences are things like fear, loss, sensuality, right? Like your senses, presence, empathy, pain. These are all, they're not emotions per se, but they're kind of experiences that we're all very familiar with. They're experiences that connect us with one another, right? Interestingly, they are also very connected to genre. For instance, no one watches a horror film because they want to be filled with joy. Right? An audience member watches a horror film because they want to be filled with fear and they want to make it out on the other side of it. So while an actor is not, you know, only playing with fear, if an actor in a horror film, an actor really needs to understand fear in a really experiential way because it's part of the lens, it's part of the world in which the whole genre is made. Right? So you begin to understand genre not only from an analytical standpoint in the core class, in terms of understanding text analysis, etc., but from an experiential, what's the need for the genre, right? What is the, the emotional palette that the, that the characters are gonna have to tap into? So that's our core class, it does both of those things. Our craft class looks at an actor's five means of expression. Physicality, voice, imagination, relationship, and use of language. So these are all a way in which the actor creates. And when they create with one, it creates a catalyzing effect to the rest. Right? So these five means of expression, oftentimes actors are really afraid, particularly on camera, to do things like use their voice or use their physicality. They're afraid of being too big. But the truth is, the problem is not that an actor is being too big. The problem is that the actor is not being specific and alive in what they're doing and the camera reads it as too big. So when you tell a, uh, an actor to not be too big, they actually shut down their instincts and they actually become big because they become disconnected from their internal life. So our job is in this class to really explore physicality, voice, imagination, all the ways in which you can be authentic in your expression of this, where you can expand your tools and it can come alive on screen. So you won't be getting that note again after this class, right? You're gonna be using all of who you are. Our actor's process class is an amazing class. It looks at six steps that you can always rely on in the creation of character. Those steps are center, how do you get centered before you even start and connected to yourself? Identify, this is where you become self-directed. How do I identify where I'm at, where the character is at, what's needed for the script, how much time I have, what tools am I gonna use, right? That's the identify process in terms of time management, artistic management, craft management, et cetera. Personalize, how do I find a very specific juncture where the character and I meet? Experience, how do I trust where we meet and trust the point of view that comes of it? Ritualize, how do I give myself a recurring moment and framework and a ritual to step into before I perform that gives me the freedom to go as far as I wanna go? And then connect, how do I connect to a moment before? How do I connect to my reader and how do I just let the thing go? So this actually takes us through different parts of our brain and allows us to fully ingest a character process. So in this class, you are going to be expanding your tools at each level, and you're gonna be given challenges in amount, with characters and amount of time to put those tools together so this process becomes intuitive, right? That graduates then to the intermediate on camera class where you are in a real life um, roller coaster obstacle course of, of working as an actor. So you might be working for a week, you might be asked to prepare to test for material, then find out then the, you know, the teacher uh, emails you two hours before to say, I'm sorry that part has been cast, uh, but they do wanna see you for the other role. Here's the other role. You're familiar with the show. We want to have you come in. 
So it becomes this real world obstacle course of different on camera environments, whether it's on set, audition, testing, et cetera, where you then have to apply these steps that I just went over, right? In the actor's process, center, identify, personalize, experience, ritualize, connect. How do I put those together in five minutes when I've got this particular challenge, et cetera? Our whole self-improvisation class is unique in the world of improvisation. Uh, I like to think of it almost as a unscripted scene study class. You will have 30 minutes prior to um, actually working where you are specifying uh, and coming up with and specifying a, a relationship, history, environment, need, conflict, creating secrets. All the things that when you look at a script, you go under a script to find, you're starting right away by creating these things. These improvisations, you're gonna be steering yourself into the conflict and you're not gonna know how to get out of it, right? And the teacher is there to watch you and see the choices that you make and that you don't make. And the idea is that the teacher is gonna keep redirecting a dialogue to the places that they're seeing the door is closed for you. And the idea is that the next improvisation, you're at that door and how do you open it? So this is really a stretch class where you're looking at your capacity. It's an intermediate advanced class because it's really gonna challenge you to start valuing risk in your work instead of um, performance, which is gonna make your work much more exciting, right? Our advanced classes uh, are interesting, whether it's advanced on camera or it's advanced scene study. The idea in the advanced classes is that you have the skills that you need, you have the tools that you need, and now we're gonna listen to a deeper intuitive voice. You might get led through a 30-minute guided meditation where um, you, know, you go to a, a magical place within yourself, then you come out, the teacher will ask you to write a fairy tale, read the fairy tale, and then read your script. And then all of a sudden, something is coming out of you that you never would have known imaginable. It's not a linear way of looking at developing talent. It's very intuitive and deep and tapping into your unconscious. So the idea that in the advanced classes, we're really looking at artistry. We're really looking at the unknown and bringing that forward. The master class is another way of doing that. The master class combines uh, audition work with scene study, with improvisation, actually with also creating your own work. But what ties it together is that we're really looking at where your life questions meet your artistic process. Because in life, we are all evolving, right? That's what life is based on. It's, you know, grow or die. That's what life is, right? So we're looking to tap into our, our growth and our instinct to grow and what our real life questions are. And then in the class, we start to ask those questions from the point of view of the character. So that when we go into scene work, when we go into audition work, when we go into creating our own content, we are not going in with answers, but we're going in with questions, questions that we care deeply about. And as a result, our work is always in a state of discovery rather than decision. And it never gets old. We're, we're growing, we get to grow this way for the rest of our lives. Um, so you can see our work here, there's kind of several levels where you're developing awareness and skills and you're exercising that awareness and skills and you're starting to learn to use that unconsciously and then you're very deliberately creating a synergy between yourself and your work. That's the intent of the curriculum and I, I know that it is unique in the world and I am excited to have you all on this journey with us.